In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On Saturday, May 1, 2021, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines will consecrate our country under the patronage of St. Joseph. Archbishop Romulo Valles, CBCP President, will lead the consecration at 9.45 a.m. at the San Pedro Cathedral in Davao City after the Holy Rosary. This will be followed by the Mass of the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker to be led by Archbishop Jose Palma at the National Shrine of St. Joseph in Mandawe, Cebu City. Each day starting April 22 until April 30, we invite you to reflect on a selected quality of St. Joseph and pray for your intentions and our country. April 29 Reflection St. Joseph, Terror of Demons My dear friends, there are many ways in which the devil and his minions influence and attack the human person. We have the ordinary attack, and that is temptation, an invitation to commit sin and to turn away from God. But aside from the ordinary attacks, the devil also launches his extraordinary attacks against us. An extraordinary attack is usually more powerful than temptations. The first and the gravest of these is demonic possession. It is when the demons take full but temporary control of the body of the person, but not the soul. We call it pagsapi o sinasaliban, sinasapian ng demonyo. The second is demonic obsession. It is when the devil attacks the mind and the thoughts of the person. We call it pambubuyo. Pambubuyo ng demonyo. The third is demonic oppression. When the devil attacks the person in the aspects of health, relationship, economic and financial status of the person or of the family and enjoyment of life. And we call it paniniil ng demonyo. And the fourth is infestation. The focus of the demonic activity is in the place, things, or animals. We call it pamumugad o ang paggagambala, panggugulo ng demonyo. And we can only be protected by the power of God. We know that demons fear Jesus. Demons also fear Mama Mary. But we also know that demons fear St. Joseph. Indeed, demons fear St. Joseph. One of the titles of St. Joseph found in his litany is St. Joseph Terror of Demons, or in Tagalog, Sindak ng mga demonyo. It is most unique title of St. Joseph because it is a title of a warrior, a fearsome and commanding title in the face of demons. St. Joseph possesses four important qualities that terrorize demons. And what are these important qualities? First, obedience. Let us go back to the betrothal stage between St. Joseph and Mama Mary. It was during the time that Mary was found pregnant, but not of St. Joseph. That is why Joseph decided to divorce Mary silently. Everything changed when the angel Gabriel told Joseph never to be afraid to take Mary as his wife because she is bearing the Son of God. Saint Joseph 
obeyed God to the words of the angel and took Mary as his wife. Another instance was when the same angel, the angel Gabriel, appeared again to St. Joseph in his dream and told him to bring Jesus and Mary to Egypt because of the plan of Herod to kill the child, to kill Jesus. Immediately, St. Joseph followed what the angel told him. St. Joseph was so obedient to the will of God. After Mama Mary, St. Joseph is the most obedient, while the devil is the most rebellious. The virtue of obedience terrorizes the demons. Therefore, St. Joseph is terror of demons. The second quality is humility. St. Joseph is a quiet and a silent man. You will never hear any single word from St. Joseph, but indeed, he is a man of action. Humility is mirrored in his actions. And humility is a mark of a noble soul. Humility is a virtue that makes demons tremble and flee. After Mama Mary, St. Joseph is the next most humble, while the devil is the most proud of all creatures. The humility of St. Joseph terrorize the demons. Number three is purity and chastity. After Mama Mary, St. Joseph is the next most pure. That is why he is called the most chaste spouse of Mama Mary. If St. Joseph is most pure and chaste, the devil is the most impure of all creatures. The demons are terrorized by the purity and chastity of Saint Joseph. And last, what quality is his closeness to Jesus. After Mama Mary, Saint Joseph is the next most close to Jesus. Saint Joseph took good care of Jesus. He accompanied Jesus in his growing years in Nazareth as a loving human father, very close to his son. After Mama Mary, Saint Joseph is the next most close to Jesus, while the devil is the most far from God. So these are the four important qualities virtues of saint joseph that terrorized demons that made the demons tremble and flee that made saint joseph terror of demons obedience humility purity and chastity and closeness to jesus my dear friends we are in a spiritual battle Satan and his demons are out to tempt us to disobey and to turn away from God. Demons are out there to harass us in many possible ways. Let us go to St. Joseph, Ite Ad Joseph. In times of fear, anxiety, depression, oppression, danger, extreme temptations, demonic harassments, and even now during this time of pandemic, let us run to St. Joseph. He will really help us, and He will really fight for us. St. Joseph, terror of demons, protect us now and forever. Amen. God, our loving Father, 
We thank you so much for the gift of Saint Joseph in our church, a true model of courage in his battle with the enemy. You have graced him to be obedient, humble, and pure of heart, causing demons to tremble and stay away from him. His closeness to Jesus, whom he took care of as his own, made the demons flee. With this character of Saint Joseph, we humbly beg you, dear Father, to teach us how to become creatively obedient in responding to the signs of these trying times. Please help us recognize what you desire for us, that we may pursue and act on them as the concrete manifestation of our obedience to you. Teach us to accept our reality with both our strengths and weaknesses that we may embrace our situation with the humble heart of a child. Purify our thoughts, affections, words, and actions that we may see grace working amidst the pandemic and never sin where hatred is rampant. Bring us closest to the heart of Jesus, our Blessed Mother, and Saint Joseph, for us to continuously nurture obedience, humility, and purity of heart in daily life and drive the evil one away from our side. Please make us your instruments of goodness that will help contribute to peace in the world that the demons lurking in our world may be harassed and flee. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Year of Saint Joseph Prayer To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by His blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Now, let us pray for our country. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those 
who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.